Hey everyone and welcome to another video from Nielsen Networking. For this video we're going to go over how to disable or uninstall Internet Explorer 11. The reason you would want to do this is because Internet Explorer 11 is no longer supported which means there's no longer security patches which means it is a vulnerability and if you run any kind of you know Nessus or other vulnerability scans it will show up as a big giant red flag for every machine you have it installed on. So needless to say you need to get that off either uninstalling it or disabling it so let's go to the disable route first so we're gonna go to search or start run and then we're gonna type in GP edit you're gonna open up the group policy editor you're gonna go down to user configuration administrative templates Windows components Internet Explorer we're gonna make this bigger and we're gonna sort so it's alphabetically here and we're gonna look for the one that says disable Internet Explorer as a standalone and we're going to go ahead and enable it. I'm going to leave this to never uh, because I don't want it. I just want it not to work. I don't really care if it gives them a prompt every time. Uh, if you did, you could actually go here always um, or per user. I don't even know why they would have per user, but um, I would just go never, click OK. And that's literally all you have to do to disable Internet Explorer. Pretty basic. Um, now let's say, let's say you want to do that and you didn't have that option. That means you are either on an operating system that those ADMX and files are not installed, or it means you have not patched your operating system to um, the most recent version that actually includes those ADMX files. So you can go to this uh, download site here that I've, I've put up here. I'll actually I'll copy this address right here, and I'll put it in the description so you know where to go. And you would download your version. So we want Windows 10. Uh, we're going to go here, you'd go here, it's going to ask you to download, you do it, it's going to download an executable. You would download that, you would run that, that would install the ADMX files that include the option to disable Internet Explorer 11. So, that takes care of that. And why don't we look at how to or uninstall. So what you're going to do is you're going to run this command right here. And you're going to need to do it from an elevated command prompt. Because if you don't, you'll get this error. An elevated command prompt. So what we have to do is go CMD here for command prompt. We're going to right-click run as admin. Yeah. We're going to go back here, and we're going to have to recopy it. And we're going to paste it. And it's probably, it should tell me that I do not have the program installed. Yes. So I did not have it installed. If you had the, uh, it installed, this would actually, it would go ahead and run a command and it would uninstall it. Um, and you can actually push this command out to multiple computers if you need to install it on multiple um, computers. So I'm done here. Now you know how to disable and how to uninstall Internet Explorer. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Um, if you appreciated this video, a like would be appreciated by me. Um, or if you want to see uh, future uh, how-tos or fixes, I plan on putting up a ton of uh, content in the next couple weeks. Uh, give me a subscribe, share me, or uh, hit that notification bell. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you very much. Have a good one.